2015 marks the 65th year that the Winter Drive-In Theater has been open. It was back in 1949 while visiting with relatives in Wyoming that Harvey Fast was convinced to build a drive-in theater in winter. Fast began the big project a year later in 1950 after he had purchased land east of town. Betty Fast would say that Harvey always told her that he and the guys involved with the drive-in theater project always spent more time laughing than actually working. Harvey built this in 1950. Uh, they had a lot of fun doing it, Harry Jurgensen and Jim Nance and and Harvey, they, he said he, they spent more time laughing than working. And uh, then in 1955, Harv widened the screen uh, to CinemaScope. And uh, at one time, a tornado went through and took part of the screen, so we had to resurface it again. And then we used corrugated steel that time. And uh, then in 1960, we added the playground equipment, and that was really a, a good thing to do. And it's used by a lot of children. Now, the first movie they ever showed at the Winter Drive-In Theater was Buck Privates on June 23rd, 1950. So just an interesting fact for you to know uh, in regards to the Winter Drive-In Theater. In 1955, Betty and Harvey got married, had two kids, Lori and Kim. And I had a chance to speak with Kim at the house, just steps away from the Drive-In Theater, talking about what that experience was like watching movies from the house uh, for the Drive-In movie. It was great. Um, as children, we were able to watch the movies from the house. Dad had a speaker in the house, and we also had an intercom system so we could communicate back and forth with the ticket office and the concession stand. And, um, you know, at night, Mom would come and tuck us in, and she always smelled like popcorn and ice cream, so that was really a uh, fond memory there. Um, over the years, we've seen a lot of different things happen. Um, we've had fireworks, we've had um, sunrise services for Easter, we've had Easter egg hunts, uh, we have used to have the f marathons, the four movies for prom night, and uh, so it's just been fun to be part of all of that. It's, it's um, so many things have happened over the years. It's been really cool. Well, many of you know about the tradition of people handing out candy at the uh, ticket booth as you enter the Winter Drive-In Theater, particularly Tootsie Rolls. That was, start, it was a tradition started many years ago by Harvey himself. And Betsy uh, Watson, we had the chance to talk to, just talking about that special tradition of being a part of uh, handing out the delicious candies to uh, all the people that come into the Drive-In Theater Fridays through Mondays. Yeah, it's, it's really neat. Um, you know, the, the Winter Drive-In's been obviously now winter for 65 years. It's, it's a, a landmark of, of the winter area. And coming here as a kid, I just basically grew up over the hill, so I came here a lot as a kid and um, just always had a good time. Harvey and Betty have been great, great neighbors to my parents and had a lot of good times. And, and uh, Betty called me about seven years ago and said, would you be willing to help us out here at the drive-in? And I said, sure, and started out in the concession stand, and now she's... Uh, Got me down here at the ticket booth or the cassette stand, depending where we're, you know, depending how busy it is. But uh, yeah, the Tootsie Rolls is a big thing. Everybody knows that they get Tootsie Rolls. In fact, I had a lady uh, come through last night and I handed her kids some Tootsie Rolls. She said, just like when I used to come as a kid. So yeah, it's really fun. And uh, just the different people we see coming in from out of state that are driving by and, hey, I didn't know you guys had a drive in. And they stop by and, and check out the movie or sometimes just check out, come for the, the great concessions too. So if you're in the area, it's a fun place to come. It's family oriented. Come early. There's a nice, great playground, um, great food. And if you can't stay for the movie, just come for the food and come for the atmosphere. It's just a lot of fun. This is the second year, actually, that the Winter Drive-In is working with its brand new digital equipment. And it was digital equipment that was required for the drive-in theater to stay open uh, going forward. I had a chance to go behind the scenes, behind the concession stand area with Larry Nord Seaton, who is very familiar with this digital equipment at the drive-in theater. And we had a behind the scenes look to learn more about that equipment. Okay, well, this is our new digital projector. And uh, we had to get this to stay open. And we've had it for a year now. This is the second year. And basically, it's a great big, huge computer and a projection system that uses a xenon bulb and uh, just just like a, a, v, or a DVD player it just turns the movie or the movie comes as a DVD really uh, this is what the movie looks like when it comes and you just plug it in the machine and download it like you would a computer and uh, then you get a license from the film company and that's what makes it 
turn on, otherwise you can't show it unless you have this key. And uh, basically, that's that's kind of how this system works. And and uh, all the movies pretty much coming out anymore from Hollywood or wherever they come out are digital now. So uh, it's just it, the computer will hold many many movies on it. It's just big outfit and uh, just uh, really amazing how it works. Um, this is the way the movies used to come. I'm sure everybody's probably seen them. Uh, in the original days when I first moved out here, you'd get about five of these that would come in two boxes probably. And then you had two projectors. We used to have one here and then one over here. And then you would take and put the reel on the projector and it run with carbon arcs, kind of like a how a welder runs to make its light. And you would have to show one of these reels. And then if you've ever watched a movie, if you pay attention up in the top right hand corner of the film, you'll see little cue marks or just little round circles. And you had two of them, they were 10 seconds apart. And the first one told you to get the machine ready and the second one told you to switch it. And you would switch from one projector to the other. And then later on, technology changed um, you got rid of the carbon arc. You had a projector that had used a xenon bulb again, but they had a big platter system, and then you just uh, put all them reels together, spliced them together, and put them on this platter, and then you didn't have, you just needed one projector and not two anymore. And, and that went on for quite a few years, and now just recently we've had to change the digital, so. After Harvey had passed away in 2004, Betty was asked if she would keep the drive-in open uh, going forward. And without any hesitation whatsoever, Betty said, of course I'm going to keep it open. And she's done a sensational job, of course. Many of you know all the hard work she puts in with mowing, booking, getting all the, the movies lined up, and the concession stand work. I could go on and on. But Betty, one of the hardest workers you will see in South Central South Dakota, and all the years she's been mowing, book work, and all that. And people love the concession stand area, of course, the new popcorn machine that they just installed here uh, this year. And Betty uh, goes into detail about that awesome popcorn that they've been cooking behind the concession stand. Yeah, we got a brand new popcorn machine this year. <clears throat> the old one we'd had for probably 35 years, that was our second machine. This is our third machine. And we, did, we donated the other machine to the Wittentown Hall, Community Hall. But this one here, it was a 32 ounce. The old one was an 18 ounce, so we can just get make a lot of popcorn at one time. Just some fun facts from 1950, some concession stand prices here at the Winter Drive-In Theater, how times have changed, folks. Back in 1950 at the uh, Drive-In Theater concession stand, it was 20 cents for a hot dog, 5 cents for a candy bar, 10 cents for a pop, 5 and 10 cents for your size of popcorn. So. Uh, the times have changed not only with the equipment, digital equipment here at the Drive-In Theater, but also with concession stand prices as well. For this week's Spotlight at the Winter Drive-In Theater, I'm Chris Dosky for KWYR.com.